Harness Security Test Orchestration, or STO, allows organizations to shift security left without the overhead and developer toil that typically accompany such efforts. By deduplicating, normalizing, and prioritizing results, by differentiating issues introduced by a developer, and by managing the security exception process in conjunction with the SecOps team, Harness STO enables teams to truly embrace DevSecOps principles as part of their pipelines. In this video, we'll walk through how to set up STO in a Harness pipeline. We will use OWASP for software composition analysis of our code base and Aqua Trivi for dynamic application security testing of our container. We'll start off with an existing CI CD pipeline. Our pipeline has a build and push stage and a deploy stage. While you can have a separate security test orchestration stage in your pipeline, we're gonna add our security scanning to the existing build and push stage. Before adding our security scanning steps, one thing to be aware of is that all Harness CI steps run in a containerized environment. Therefore, in order to support scanning of our built container, we need to enable Docker and Docker. To do so, go to the overview tab of the CI stage and add var run as a shared path. Then go to the execution tab and add a step at the beginning of the stage. Select the background step type, provide a name such as DIND for Docker and Docker, select the container registry and specify Docker colon DIND as the image. Finally, check the privileged option under additional configuration and apply changes. We now have Docker and Docker in place to support our container scan. Now let's start adding our security scanning steps. First, we'll start with our code scan. In between the run test step and the build step, add a new step. You'll see a number of scanners that Harness integrates with out of the box, as well as the ability to do custom ingestion from any scanner. Here, we'll select OWASP, provide a name for the step, Keep the scan mode set to orchestration, which means that Harness will execute the scanner and ingest the results. Under target, we'll see that the type is set to repository. Some scanners support more than one type of scan, such as repository, container, application, or configuration. Others such as OWASP only support one, so this field can't be changed. For the name, provide something to indicate what we're scanning in this case, our payment service repository. For repositories, variant usually refers to the branch. In this case, specify main. Note that there are additional optional parameters, such as the ability to fail the pipeline based on finding issues at or above a specified severity. Apply changes to finalize the configuration of this step. Now we'll add our DAST scan. As the last step in this stage, add the Aqua Trivi step. Provide a name for the step and keep the scan mode set to orchestration. Under target, we'll see that the type is set to container image. Set the name to indicate your image, in this case, our payment service image. For container images, variant usually refers to the tag. In this case, specify latest. Under container image, specify the name and the tag of the container image that is to be scanned. Apply changes to finalize the configuration of this step. Now, let's execute the pipeline and see the results. Once the pipeline is complete, we can go to each STO step to see the results of each individual scanner. More importantly, we can go to the security test tab to see the deduplicated, normalized, and prioritized results across all scanners. Here, we can also get more details about an individual issue, the harness ADA generative AI remediation recommendations, and all of the technical details of the issue. 
we can also collaborate with SecOps by requesting an exemption directly from the issue. Finally, we'll want our SecOps team to set a baseline, which is the root variant of each target type. For example, the main branch of the code or the latest tag of the image. The baseline allows Harness to identify issues that a developer may have introduced in the variant that they are working in and to distinguish those so that the developer is easily aware of the issues that they must resolve or otherwise get exemptions for before merging back into the baseline. To set the baselines, the SecOps team can go to test targets. Here, you'll see the list of targets automatically populated based on previous scans. We'll see the payment service and payment service image targets that we defined in our pipeline. Now set the baselines for each target. The next time we execute our pipeline, the security test tab will show only newly introduced issues under the only in current scan section, while all previous issues identified in the baseline go to the common to baseline scan section. Now, with the knowledge that you have gained here and the power of Harness Security Test Orchestration, you're ready to take your DevSecOps journey to the next level.